Here we are, another wonderful day in Clovis, California. And they're talking about rain. We're getting some clouds in the sky. Talking about rain over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, we'll see how that goes. But I'm not here to give you a weather update. I'm here because of this guy. My dad has this old bike in the garage. Hasn't been used for Oh, a decade at least and he said I could have it if I want so I'm gonna check it out right now see what we're dealing with It's been so long since I used one of these. I might be dating myself here, but do you remember when these used to be free? You could just pull up and pump air. It's air. Why does air cost money? I get it. There's a machine here. Somebody's got to run it. It's a business. It's a luxury. It's a service. But still, a buck fifty for some air? Buck 75, buck 50 on coin, buck 75 on credit. Sweet, seems to work pretty good. Gonna have to make some adjustments, especially to the seat height and the handlebar height. But all in all, looks like we got a bicycle now. So I'm not sure if it's here that I make the adjustment. That would be an Allen wrench. Or if it's down here, which would just be a normal wrench to make this go up. I'm thinking it's, you loosen this, raise it up. This one is definitely an Allen to make the seat go up. Actually, an Allen on both sides. So you need two Allens. So I'm about to hit up the Harbor Freight right over here. And uh, you know, Harbor Freight's a cool spot. Tons of tools, like <laughs> not always the top quality stuff, but really affordable. But every time I go there or think about it, I'm always reminded of my good friend, Jim. Jim's now out in Florida, enjoying the sunshine and that type of deal out there, but I'm always reminded of Jim when I go to Harbor Freight because he was the Harbor Freight master. He would always have the newest uh, newsletter they put out in the newspaper or whatever, and they'd have coupons for free items. And he always had like a free little flashlight coupon or a little rent set coupon. <laughs> and then we'd go over there and he'd grab his free items, but like, it was just like a kid in a candy store because Jim was that kind of guy who liked to get down and dirty with wrenches on cars and stuff. Much the complete opposite of myself. I have no clue what I'm doing under the hood. But there's, there's funny little memories. Jim, if you're watching, <laughs> miss hanging out with you.
Hopefully we'll get out your way soon when all this nonsense is over with. We'll look forward to that. Yeah, Lance too. <laughs> Well, of course, Harbor Freight had what I wanted after I walked around the whole thing like three times and finally found it. But ha, I'm not waiting in that line for one wrench. Are you kidding me? The line's going halfway down the store. So eh, I'll come back like early in the morning on another day. So today, not really a whole lot exciting going on. Whatever, just another average day. I got a bike out of today which is pretty cool i need to get a bike holder i've been looking at some uh maybe one that mounts on the trailer hitch uh or one maybe you know is it time to get roof racks i don't know yet the only thing i could think of using a roof rack for is for that bike but although if i got a kayak in the future that would make more sense to have a bike rack up there or a right rock 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 have a rack <laughs> what is it called a roof rack now i got a set of allens from the Dollar Tree, which seemed to fit the seat. Got that adjusted all right. But it turns out that I didn't have the correct size for the handlebars, which is what you need to adjust to raise them up. Well, I'm sitting here in front of my parents' house. I just made them a delicious dinner of shrimp tempura and beef and broccoli with some steamed sticky rice. And now I'm just, you know, I'm sitting in my van here in front of their house and I'm a little bit conflicted. You know, it's a Friday night tonight and I almost feel like I wanna treat myself a little bit. You know what I mean? I, been, I've been parking at the park and ride pretty much, it's gotta be around 14 days or so something like that I haven't been keeping track if I wanted to go look at videos and see what day I actually filmed what video then I could pinpoint it but it's been somewhere around that two weeks or just over two weeks same every night at the park and ride and while it's a great spot and I feel ultimately safe there like I'm just sitting in the van with my lights blaring you know talking at myself in the, the camera just laughing out loud just carrying on as if like I didn't have a care in the world like I like I was in my own home and my neighbors couldn't care less how much noise I made because that's kind of the cool thing when you're in the van you you kind of can dictate things like that you know the thing about when you're in a house that I've always said this you can't pick your neighbors. You can pick your house, but you can't pick your neighbors. And sometimes, oh man, the, <laughs> sometimes you just get the worst neighbors, especially in apartments, apartment complexes. Oh man. Back in the depression den in Knoxville, used to have this lady upstairs. She would stomp around at three in the morning, getting ready for work. And next door, there was this old dude. He was senile or something, I don't know. And he would, he had this little dog that just yuck, 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 all the time, and he would he would cuss at it. That's what you would hear through the the wall from next door. <laughs> but anyways, so I was thinking I might try parking somewhere different, and I had a spot in mind, a specific hotel that I have stayed at here in town in the past, and I know from experience that if I park in a specific area 
very close to the hotel, I can get on their Wi-Fi and it's really good, really good signal. And actually it's a little bit of a secret because the last time I stayed at this hotel, the internet for some reason was not working in my room. So it was the manager, whoever was working the front office at the time, he said, here, just use our admin Wi-Fi, the whatever, the in-house administration Wi-Fi. They got two separate signals, one for guests, one for people that work there, basically. And so he gave me that password. Well, come to find out, that Wi-Fi is stronger signal for some reason, and it has a wider range. So I parked at this spot before, just hanging out, and just for giggles, I said, well, let me see if I can get on the Wi-Fi. And wouldn't you know it, sure enough, perfect Wi-Fi. So I'm kind of going back and forth, what to do? And I don't know, we'll see what I decide. Part of me wants to just go right back to the comfort of the park and ride and not have to think about anything. The other half of me says, hey, treat yourself, go stay at the hotel, you know, watch some movies online or whatever. But then I'm gonna be looking all the time, you know, there's people coming and going. It's a Friday night. There's probably gonna be late night activities. I don't know. <laughs> So after a bunch of careful deliberation, driving around for a bit, you know, I started weighing my options. What am I looking for? You know, do I want somewhere that's quiet and safe, secure, uh, or do I want free Wi-Fi and to be looking over my shoulder? And when I presented it to myself that way, the choice was easy. Of course, I went with the free Wi-Fi, looking over my shoulder. No, <laughs> I didn't. And I did not go with the park and ride either. I went to another spot. Not gonna give it away. That's about all I'm saying on that. And I don't know if you can see it. Yep, it's actually raining outside. I was sitting here editing a video and I heard something. I thought it was, I'm parked under a tree, so I thought maybe something was falling on it, but it was steady and consistent. Sure enough, <laughs> it's raining. So I pushed my little ottoman seat back so that I could just do that shot you saw of my beautiful Christmas decorations. And I'm sitting there looking at my van. And I almost never do that. It's so weird. I'm always sitting the opposite way, looking out the front, using my cooler as a table. And I've just got in the habit of always using my cooler as a table. So I sit facing that direction out the front window and I can kind of see what's going on through the curtains. But now that I'm looking at my van this way, man, this is awesome. Like, <laughs> especially with the Christmas decorations up, it's a whole new perspective. It's like I never actually take the time to sit here and enjoy my van. Just just looking at it. <laughs> I bet a lot of people, you know, take for granted what they have and never take the time to just stop and look at it. It's like that old saying, you know, stop and smell the roses. Well, I'm going to stop and smell the roses right now for a little bit. I got it all lit up. It's making me feel nice. Thank you.